We're going to learn how to connect the Jackery 240 watt solar battery bank to a 50 watt solar panel because if you buy their 50 watt solar panel it's $200. This one can be bought for $50 to $75 and it produces the same amount of power. You just have two wires to connect and it's really simple. Also I'll have a link below for this panel. It's just a standard 50 watt nothing special solar panel. So this solar panel will work with the Jackery 240 watt hour and if you look at the data sheet that's on on it you can see that it's 50 watts and that's okay that's the max that you can put into the jackery and the open circuit voltage is 20 volts and the jackery can handle 15 to 30 volts so that's okay and then the amperage is fine because the wattage is fine as long as you have the watts and the volts the amps should be good and that's all you need to know so this will work with the jackery and it has two cables on the back so we need to connect these to the jackery's cable here is the jackery and here are the two positive and negative cables that we need to connect to this power plug so inside of this power plug if you strip it with a wire stripper like that one you will find two wires a black and a red and then on here you will have a black and a red or a positive and a negative and it will typically be labeled which one's positive and negative on the cables but if you need to run an extension cable so that this solar panel is on the roof of your vehicle what you need to do instead is get mc4 adapter extension cords so then you'll plug an MC4s into here and then run it through your roof and then run it down to your jackery. So it really depends, but this is really simple. You have two wires in here and two wires right here. You find the positive and the negative and you find the positive and the negative and you connect them. The easiest way is to buy a crimper from the store and you can buy these from Walmart or Harbor Freight. And then you use these. It's a yellow connector and it will connect this wire to this wire after you cut it and strip it. So there's lots of ways of connecting the system, but for me, I'm going to use these XT60 connectors. And I have a whole bag of them, but you have to solder them. So I'm going to solder one of these connectors to here so I can plug it in to the Jackery with this. And because I have these connectors, then I can also use special tools to see how much power is going through it. So it's very useful for my application. So first for me, I'm going to remove the MC4 adapters, but if you're mounting this on a roof, you'd need these. So get an extension cord instead, but for me, I don't need them, so I'm going to remove them. And this is my favorite wire stripper, and then you put it on the 10 gauge, because this is a 10 gauge wire, and then you just strip the wire, like that is really thick insulation because it's UV resistant. It does not say, usually it'll say positive or negative right here. So there's no negative sign in front of the number, so that means the polarity is right. So the red is the red, so this is positive, and then the other one's negative. I'm going to solder this joint first and leave this cable on here so I know that this is negative. So here's the positive for this little connector, and then I'm just gonna solder that just right there. You need to make sure that it gets nice and shiny. <sighs> And that means that it actually flowed through the whole joint. If you're not doing this, you can buy XT60 connectors with crimp-on adapters. So you could use these with XT60. And by the way, this is what the Jackery cables look like. You have a black and a red, and you can see I crimped it to my XT60 connector, but this is where you would crimp it to this. These are different size wires though, so you'd have to remove a couple strands on this one to make it fit in the proper connector, but it should work. Or you could fold these in half and then shove it in there. So I'm gonna use some electrical tape so I can hold it steady while I solder this joint. Make sure it gets nice and hot and let the solder flow. <sighs> and then let it sit for a second. So now we're gonna add a little bit of heat shrink to protect this joint. That's what it should look like when it's done. It looks really nice and clean. So now all we have to do is plug it in. So we have the two wires coming from the back of the solar panel and let's see if it charges. Let's see how much power it actually produces. No way, 33 watts from a 50 watt panel is actually really good. So yeah guys, now you can charge your Jackery with a super cheap solar panel.